y'all welcome back to the studio i'm aramis the artist this week was full of everything so these are literally some of my ideal days your girl love to paint obviously but as you all know i have been busy doing all the other things except painting in my studios. Okay, so this week I'm actually gonna be working on a painting that's gonna be added to my Zodiac series. Then that image, I'm putting it on a scarf. Yes, your girl is getting ready for the winter time. <laughs> that's gonna be available in my online shop at some point, but first I have to finish the painting. So you all are gonna see me working on that painting in this vlog. In addition to that, VMC, we are hosting a pop-up right here in Capitol Hill, out here in Seattle, Washington. If you are local, that's cool. You know I got you. Your girl got her online shop. This vlog, I'm working on all those things. Getting the shop together. Obviously, we just finished up Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday, all the things. So you all are gonna see how I prepped for that. And a little bit of the... But the... But the, but the and a little bit of the behind the scenes of how I am painting this new piece that I'm working on. So, you know what you need to do. Grab you a cup of tea and let's hop into the studio vlog. Thank you. 
Well, now we wait. <laughs> we wait for the layers to dry. I started putting the colors down for the scarves. It's really starting to come together and I didn't really have like a specific idea of what I wanted to do. I did want the theme to be cosmic. All of myself was inspired by the cosmos and galaxies and just like this higher consciousness, uh, but also tying it into the Zodiac series and having some sort of astrology elements into it. So it's still slowly evolving uh, one day at a time. But the other thing I'm gonna be working on today is um, preparing the 2020 gift guide. It's gonna be like a cosmic gift guide, just like letting folks know what's available in my online store, how they can shop, uh, and just like an easy template. For me, it can be hard to figure out what somebody wants, right? So this is really gonna be like me categorizing my catalog for people. Like, so if you have a friend who's a water sign, she might like these pieces, or somebody who's always on the go she might want the clutch bags so really just having like this kind of a uh, customized curated gift guide for folks whenever they are shopping on my online store so now I'm just letting these layers dry so we'll see what comes with that I'm sipping on my tea I got this from a shop that's in Fremont I'll put the name up somewhere um, I was shopping for my girl blue her birthday was yesterday oh my god we had a phenomenal time uh, but I saw this mug this handmade potter potters <laughs> Potters, put in my face. Vessel, okay, which I thought would be perfect for my tea and my coffee. The artist who made this mug is Tamra, I think it's Tamra, Tamra B Pottery on Instagram, I'll tag her. But yeah, I thought this was beautiful. Of course, it's gonna be paint all over it by the time I'm done with it. I love collecting other handmade goods from other artists as well, I feel like um, just as a creator, I know how much time and energy can go into making things. And so whenever I see something that really resonates with me from an artist, it's like, you know what I mean? Like you like, you like, okay, okay. Artists supporting artists out here. All right, well, let's see what tomorrow brings. Hey y'all, we are back in the studio getting some things together, working on the gift guide, getting some, actually ordering some new cards for the patrons, but I got a few meetings today so that we can work on getting this stuff out to you guys. The base layer for the scarves is really coming together nicely. I am absolutely loving it. So once I finish up some of these meetings and computer work, then I'll be able to get back to painting. So I'ma hop back in. I'm on my job, I get it done, but you should know that. Shine like a sun of one of one, you should know that. I get the front and in the back, you should know that. No need to stun, it's never cap. I think it's so interesting how much how much light can make a difference with a piece. This is why I love painting in the daytime because like the day, like natural light is so important. I have all the lights in this studio, okay, are all different temperatures, colors, different vibes, different energies. And so like when you see the piece in the daylight, that's when you can really see the true color. So, yeah, your girl, your girl definitely needs to add a little bit more orange. We gotta warm the piece up a little bit. So we're back in the studio today working on this painting. I'm still thinking about a name for it. It's, st it's still evolving. It's still evolving for sure. So I have a meeting later on today with Shannon. We're gonna work on the gift guide for the holiday season. Y'all, I have so been over getting ads on Instagram, Facebook, all the things. Like it almost feels 
weird. It feels really weird just knowing that the entire world is in a state of just mourning, loss, like the holidays is coming up and there's so many of us who's not gonna be able to actually see our family or be in contact with our family and understand shopping and you know, sending, sending gifts can definitely make you feel more connected or make you feel like you can show appreciation or gratitude for the ones that you love. At the same time, it's just been, it's just been really weird for me personally. I don't know, let me know in the comments if it's been weird for y'all. So I think I wanna add like some self-care things in this gift guide, like letting folks know that you don't have to always buy something to feel complete, to feel whole, or to even, you also don't have to buy something specifically for a loved one. Half the time, they just want you to call them more or reply to their texts <laughs> in a timely fashion obviously that one uh hits home for me i'm just really thinking about how can how can i make this gift guide different but at the same time intentional while still understanding the state of the world the climate that we're in energetically spiritually financially and i don't want to just present all these things like buy the pillow buy my clutch bag buy my prints because first of all do you need them do you i don't know now people are wiling come down Anywho, half of the stuff that's out here, y'all, we don't really need it. We don't. Now, do we want it? Sure. If, look, if, if you want something on my website, be my guest, okay? Because you, you out here supporting your girl, and I appreciate that. It definitely helps keep my studio rent paid. It keeps the lights on up in here. So I am super, super grateful for y'all. But what I was just posting on Facebook today is like, if it's, if it's really about like supporting an artist, like, I really don't want people to buy things that they don't need or things that you don't want because a lot of my supporters actually already have a lot of my prints or already have my clutch bag. So that's that's love, that's major, right? I'm super grateful for that. I was just letting folks know the other way that people can support is definitely by becoming a patron. Patreon helps me out all year round, even when Black Friday is over because your girl's still gonna be black. <laughs> when Black Friday is done, I'm still gonna be here trying to pursue my passion, trying to be a successful artist in this world. I've just been really thinking. Even in our move, you know, I told you all before that we moved in August, we got rid of so much stuff and it felt so good. It felt really liberating just to get rid of things and just to have more space, to have more room and to realize that a lot of these things I do not need. But. Of course, if you want to shop my site, you absolutely can. But today we're going to work on some painting. So let's hop back into it. I'm back in the studio. So I actually printed off some brochures via Canva. Y'all, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Canva needs to sponsor me because they are truly the truth and they print it out for you and like their print quality is on point. I ordered some prints on Canva so that the Cosmic Gift Guide could be a brochure. So those are gonna be going out to the Patreon tribe. They're gonna be getting the printed versions. Today is Monday, so technically Cyber Monday. Yesterday, what was yesterday? Yesterday I actually went up to Capitol Hill because VMC, Vivid Matter Collective, we have a pop-up shop that is gonna go live on Thursday, so that's actually, I think that's December 3rd. So if you are out here in Seattle, you can come and shop us in person, okay? We got all the COVID precautions. We got everybody gonna have a mask on. We gonna have a sneeze guard. It's gonna be all good and Gucci. I brought some pins up there the other day, so we are getting the space all set up. So I'm really excited for people to be able to pick up stuff from uh, just about 10 of us. So it was 16 of us who was a part of Painting the Mural. 10 of us have products and merch that's gonna be available at the pop-up shop in Seattle. So I'm gonna make sure I drop some info below so that y'all can come check that out. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> My throat 
Today, I'm actually working on packing orders for everybody who did shop this weekend for Small Business Saturday and Black Friday and all of that. Even though, you know, I'm not really the biggest fan of the consumerism culture, I'm beyond grateful for when people support my work. So I'm getting the pins gonna be shipped out today. I'm working on that and I'm gonna be working on getting some more layers added to, uh, to the painting. I have no idea what I'm gonna name her, but I wanted to let you all know, if you haven't seen my last um, my last video, you should definitely check it out. That's where I was installing the Bellevue Art Museum. It That video was wild, y'all. Let me know in the comments if y'all seen that video. The video was just getting so long, I feel like I couldn't even add everything that was going on, but pretty much I ended off that video where we finished building the actual frame for it, but we had to still get the paintings up on the wall and we still had to get the lighting right and get everything together. So um, the installation team at Bellevue Art Museum helped us fill the holes in the frame because we drilled the frame to the subboard. Um, so they filled those holes, got it all together for us, helped us put those giant paintings up on the wall. I was beyond. <laughs> I was so scared. I was. T I told y'all before. I get super nervous whenever whenever we have to move my artwork. Um, obviously, it takes me a really long time to make these pieces. They're huge. They're fragile, and I just never want them to get hurt. Um, but they took really good care of my paintings. The lighting turned out really well. I feel like lighting makes an installation. It makes an experience. It really makes things pop and can really draw your attention in certain ways. Like you can really guide the narrative with just lighting alone. So then. And also that weekend, I don't even, I can't even remember like the timing of everything. <laughs> Today is November 30th. Andy's birthday is November 7th. So the family came in town for that weekend. Uh, my dad-in-law came, uh, my best friend from high school, my girl Monica came out uh, to see the exhibition. So um, it was so great to have my family have experienced a private tour of the show, especially before it closed due to the COVID restrictions. That's just me getting y'all caught up on all the extra stuff that I wasn't even able to put in the last video. because. Honey, <laughs> you girl had to cut it. I had to cut it. That is the final update. I'm about to hop back into this painting and shipping some merch and I'm gonna see y'all in a bit. Cosmic gift guides arrived today. I literally ran home. Um, when I had to eat, you girls hungry, okay? <laughs> it has been a really long day. So I went home to get some snacks, but, and I had two packages. One of them being, the, well, first of being these beautiful necklaces that I got. <sighs> Instagram got me, okay, y'all? In Instagram got me. Actually, Actually, Sophia Chang. Yes, I love her vlogs. Uh, I follow her on YouTube. So she had this beautiful necklace on and I definitely use her discount code. So shout out to the queen for putting us on. But, okay, so I told y'all Kim is amazing. No lie. These got here super quick and they're beautiful. First of all, Canva's packaging is just the bomb. Let me show y'all this. So you open it up and then you got it in here. And then they says it's always it always seems impossible until it's done. Okay, boo, I see you. This is the gift guide. Okay. Look, I'm trying, <laughs> trying to do try to do the hand. <sighs> I'm gonna throw in some B-roll. Okay. I'm just so happy. They look good, y'all. They look good. So I have it broken up uh, via the elements. So we got air, fire, water, and earth. So some of you all might know I'm working on a Zodiac series. It's been put on pause, obviously, with the Yellow Number 5 exhibition. But now I'm gonna have the opportunity to come back to those pieces. Now that the show is done, we are moving on. I'm working on another piece, which is gonna be the scarf. Uh, and I'm also, I also pulled back out my other painting. So this is gonna be Aquarius. And behind me is the background layer for Pisces. So I have it broken up kind of in inspired by that. So if somebody is a water sign, like if you got a friend who's a Cancer or a Scorpio, I have it broken up um, via the elements. And then each one is labeled. So there's a little letter, you got A, B, C, all the way up to 
H and then on the back it shows you do the name of that item and what it coordinates with. So if somebody's like, ooh, I got an air sign friend, she's maybe a Gemini like your girl, then maybe she might like Midnight Aura, which is A, and so people can go and find that. So I think these are gonna be perfect. I think these are gonna be really good. Um, so I'm also gonna be working on a blog post to go in association with that. So if people go to my website and are trying to shop and trying to have some more help kind of to guide them through that process, then I'll have the links on the site that'll take them directly to the product that they're looking for. Your girl is leveling up, okay? She's, she's leveling up. She's getting organized. She's making it easy and clean because the number one thing in business is like eliminate the friction. Eliminate the friction. So your girl's out here eliminating friction, make it smooth, crisp, and clean for people to shop with your girl. So right now, I am about to hop into getting these patron perks ready to go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me saying, let's go. Let's do it. things y'all super productive day got all the patreon perks packed ready to go tomorrow is going to be the day when i am going to take those up to the post office and then hopefully try to get some painting done tomorrow i didn't get much done today when it comes down to painting you know you know a lot of the business stuff can uh can take over but you know it's just busy around this time it's the holidays i'm trying to make sure everybody's stuff get out these are a lot of gifts for people and so who knows if they got to ship it to their friends and family and stuff i just want to make sure that it's not delayed on my part i'm tired <laughs> i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow and i'm gonna try that like youtuber hand thing okay <laughs> Oh,
lights. Can she get lit? Ooh, 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 it's lit. Good evening. It, it's officially evening. I'm coming with the accurate time. It is around 5 p.m. Today is December 2nd. I just left the VMC pop-up. It is all ready to go, y'all. It is looking good. If you aren't local and if you are overseas or in, in another state, in another country, which blows my mind seeing that there are folks from other countries who watch my channel, I'm like, Little on me, little on me. Oh my God, I'm honored, y'all. We are super close to a thousand subscribers. Yay! I know it might seem small to some, but it is big to your girl. Thank you so much. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, okay? Subscribe, we're building. This is just the beginning. So much progress has been made on the painting. Okay, I think I might have a name for her. I'm thinking something along the lines of protect your energy because in the midst of everything that's been going on, y'all, the people who are out there doing the hard work, the activists, the frontliners, everybody who is out there, shout out to y'all. You're needed, you're necessary, you're worthy. At the same time, rest is important too. Make sure you protect your energy. You don't have to validate yourself for anybody. You don't have to validate or explain your trauma, your pain, or your abuse. I just feel like that needs to be said. There's been a whole lot going on. I might be able to update you guys on some of that in the next vlog. But for me at this time, it's just been important for me to protect my energy because in the midst of this world, that's all I can do. Literally all I have control over is this sphere right here, this vessel, this energetic field that is that surrounds my person. So that's something that I wanna cultivate. I hope you all cultivate the same. And this piece is super, super duper close to being done. So in the next vlog, I'll be able to reveal the final image and how you all can cop the scars when those become available. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And remember, if you liked it, like it, and I'll see you all next time. You.